taking a soil sample. Plan ahead. Analysis before ground preparation and planting is particularly important to get basic nutrients and pH corrected. Low pH cannot be corrected at a later date easily for perennial crops, if at all. More complete liming information is found in the DEFRA publication RB209. Take care when there is suspected soil acidity. It can occur in patches. Spot testing with soil indicator across the field is often useful. Your sample must be a good representation of the crop situation. It will contain many cores. More is better, taken at evenly spread points. These are finally mixed thoroughly and divided if needed to provide your sample for delivery. It is important to collect a sample that is fully representative of the field. The sample you send to the laboratory only uses just a few grams of the sample you send. You may choose zones within the field. Is the crop still to be planted? Use the whole field. Or does it exist in a defined root zone? Sample just the beds. It is very important to cover the complete cropping area you are surveying to get the best representation. Always sample to the correct depth, normally 15 centimetres. This may not be easy if the soil is hard and dry. Better to wait for adequate rain to soften the profile. Normally, take at least one lab sample for each area that you're going to manage. If you suspect that a field is not uniform and may have a different analysis in places because of slopes, previous long-term row crops such as raspberry or a history of mixed crops, then take a representative sample from each area within the field. Sometimes there is a known problem area. Take one sample from the area and one from a good area. The good sample provides a standard for the bad sample. Sampling depth for the core is typically 0 to 15 cm and is related to cultivation depth when most of the root zone is found. Use an even zigzag or W pattern for sampling a field. Take as many soil cores as possible. A minimum of 25 soil cores should be taken per field based on a 10 hectare field. Avoid taking a core around non-typical areas, for example gateways, tracks and hedges. Take a soil auger, bags, marker pen and clean bucket into the field with you. Collect the cores in a plastic bucket to avoid trace element contamination and mix thoroughly to achieve a well blended sample before filling the sample bag. 400 grams of soil, a good coffee mug full, is sufficient to deliver for analysis. Label the bag immediately with a waterproof marker pen. It is very easy to confuse soil samples when collecting more than one. A soil sample for basic pH, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium is stable and should be delivered within a week to the laboratory. Collecting a sample carefully takes time, so avoid trouble with delivery and processing and use clear labelling, secure packing and the correctly completed paperwork for the laboratory.